This is the room. This is the window. This is the room again. This is also the closet. Robes and such. But I'll show you the lobby when we get down. But it's actually pretty nice. Hello. We're on our way to go watch this football game. The Olympics football game. Spain versus Uzbekistan. Even though he's going to be wearing an Italian jacket today. Wearing an Italian jacket in France, rooting for Spain. We're here for the next three days, which is the longest we've been anywhere. So <laughs> I'm really happy that for the next three days we're put and we're not like tugging luggages around. That stuff scares me. Yeah. You know what? I just can't really sit there. Let's go watch the Olympics. <laughs> Oh, we're walking to the stadium now because it takes 20 minute walks, so we're gonna walk. This entire time we've been here, it feels extremely surreal. Like, I kind of just feel like I've been like, well, one, we've been driving for the past two days or three days, I should say. So it feels like I've just been on like turnpike or something back at home until we see the mountains and I'm like, okay, I'm in Europe. Cause they don't got mountains like this in the US. <laughs> um, but it's actually really nice. People said Paris stinks and like it doesn't. I had to whisper because I don't want no one to hear me like get mad at me. I think, yeah, today we're going to the soccer game. I wonder if today we're gonna go see the Eiffel Tower. I have no idea, but that would be amazing. I kind of hope we don't do it today. Why? So we can get an outfit change and like. Oh yeah. We'll probably just, yeah, true. I hope we do Eiffel Tower tomorrow. So we can get dressed up real nice. Cause your boy, your boy ready for soccer. I'm not ready for Eiffel Tower vibes. This was my driving and my going to a soccer game outfit. Um, yeah. So I'm wearing these pants I got from, I always forget the brand's name. Oh my gosh, what's the brand's name? I got these pants from Micah's. I absolutely love them. At first it's like cargo type material. And then you have denim pockets cut from different ones. Absolutely love it. And then this top is from H&M in Switzerland. This necklace I made myself. Keep the shoes. But this hot dog is so good. Like, look, they literally put, they put like fried onions on here, mustard, ketchup, horseradish on the bottom, but that thing was so gas. And the fries. I got two hot dogs, two things of fries, and three drinks. And that was like 31 euros. Like, in the US, could never. A hot dog would be $15. This is so good. I won't lie, I have no idea what's going on, but I love the sportsmanship. Thank God. I have to use bathrooms. 
<laughs> Is it good? <laughs> the cavern. Oh look. So I'm getting some work done while sipping on my little lemon berry spritz. That thing looks so delicious. Michael's also working. <laughs> Drinking beer and eating peanuts. These peanuts actually look so good, but I don't like peanuts at all. Oh, I kinda like those. Oh, I kind of like that. <laughs> What's the combination? Wow. Mm. Yeah. Ooh. It tastes, it tastes good, but it's strong. Like. Little about six o'clock. Yeah, with the time difference here and how it like it gets dark later, I'd be getting very confused with the time. Like I was working on my laptop for about two hours. Could have been three could have almost been three hours because it was slowly getting darker and it felt like oh it's just eight o'clock, like back at home. No, it's damn near ten o'clock. You can see my whole body. I can see your whole body without a flashlight. Thank you. It looks so good. It smells so good. Yeah. It looks so good. Is it good? I did. I got spaghetti veal with tomatoes and yum yum scrum lily dum dum. We had a tour and the tour guide never showed up, so we think we got like scammed. LOL. Tickets were like a hundred dollars, I believe, to go to the tour. And then when there was other people there that were waiting like an hour before us, and then other groups of people, three different times. Well, by the time we left, it was like four other groups of people, and apparently a meeting point was somewhere else. But we're finally here, so no complaints. We never got the update from our tour guide about change of location but apparently two other groups did after five hours of discussions we have finally got our tickets to go into versailles three of us are going to go by ourselves because they only have room for nine so three of us took ourselves out of the equation and the rest are going to go on the tour but that's fine because i low-key don't care to listen to people talk anymore just random home sign in the Versailles Cafe. Just back me up for some reason. <laughs> like nothing else in the Versailles is like this. And then they have this home sign. <laughs> Can you go get your suitcase? You should be leaving stuff behind. 